Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. This is part two of the roundtable interview I did with Matt Kors and some other people in the chat. Uh, this is part where we're going to cut over to where Raccoon said, she said something like, who cares if the markets are transparent and balanced because the information given, no one would actually be able to know how to interpret that. And Matt fought back with her, which was commendable. And for me, well, I said my parting shot. So here's the clip. This is part two, like I said. Obviously, part one I just uploaded. But let's go for it. There's, there's no reason Tommy Tuberville is sitting on the ad committee for the Senate day trading corn futures. I'm against it. And even if we successfully block him from being able to do it, it's not changing how I'm trading corn futures because I don't trade corn futures. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And the other part of that is if you if you knew what FTDs were and why they happen, like I know what you're saying as far as transparency, but everybody would just trade the list. They would literally go to the list every night and be like, oh, these guys have to buy back. They have to deliver these shares. But that's not the way it goes. That's why people don't just trade off of what they read off a, a reg show list. And this is like the dumbest argument for anyone out there who's saying, well, we deserve free and you know free markets or whatever they call it. Um, transparent markets, I should say. Yeah, there are things that we could all systematically change in the plumbing of the markets, and everybody wants to make that happen, but you have to think about all of the steps. I, I'm talking about on all fronts. You have to get it through so many levels, and there's so much dirty money out there. So when you do study private equity and you understand what, what your investments are, you can make a choice decision based off of who's invested with it and how it's going to play. This is not new. You know, LBOs, bootstrap deals, and now private equity, as they call it. That's been around for 60 years, guys. So that's why. I study it on that end, and that's why I feel some people were manipulated and or some people are pushed a certain way and swayed a certain way, and why people like Ryan Cohen do exist and how they pushed out private equity on an investment. But just because you push out private equity on the board of directors like GameStop did doesn't mean you're not battling it still, because I'll tell you, supply chain, freight, you name it, all those companies are owned by private equity. They can hurt you on the on the other side of it. That's why people like Adam Aaron exist. This guy's been around 25 years with private equity firms and then all the investors are looking around saying he's on our side no wait he's not and now you want to call him a villain three years later after loving him for so long it's just because they didn't do the homework that everyone else did when they were like hey he has direct ties the whole way through it's no different at bed bath and beyond and anything else that people are going to push out in front of you mullen automotive the same way that's why i'm telling you and i ask matt and i implore you every time we start talking about tickers or you start pushing out some i know you're on the trade aspect of it i get it the day trade i know what amy is she does that Afraid. She calls out trades all day long in, in spaces. But I'm just saying from my standpoint, from investment standpoint, caution, eyes open, you know, and, and educate yourself. That's what I've always done. That's what I've always advocated. But I'm telling you right now, for me, I do diamond hand. I heard the conversation earlier about GameStop. I literally diamond hand, and it's just a phrase I use to educate myself into the stance of I live the right way, I invest the right way, I don't over leverage myself, and I'm willing to hold these shares and not have to leverage them out, not sell them myself. So that's where the moniker comes from. So I just want to pass that along to everybody. Thank you guys for your time, Matt. Thank you, of course, Amy. And for people like Puzzled or anyone else out there that's trying to, you know, get their point across, you got to do it in a more constructive way. Good luck. Yep. Thanks for coming up.